is done. Wait, I'm going to back you up. And they say his last call. And that booty is the only thing I see. Hey, yeah. Then your back. Get the shoulder Boss going. it down. Shoulder loosening up. Turn that booty. We like to thank All everybody. Sabatella pulling out. The good 640. You twerk, twerk for me. Do it, do it. So, darling, darling, twerk, twerk for me. So, darling, twerk. I'm coming in. Twerk for me. Just as long as you twerk, twerk for me. <laughs> Ooh, we had to we had to do some throw. We had to do some home. Yes, grown her. Like do some home grown on yes, y'all. Send me. Anyway, man, the usual. We back in the lab. We back in the studio. It's Captain's Law Podcast and YouTube Show. I'm your host Rob. It's my host Rick. Was good. What's up, bro? Well, you feeling alright over there? Yeah, you you, you could have pulled up on me, shit. We hey, got you could have squeezed me in. Pause. I had, I had a rough day today at work. I know, man. So I but shit, nigga, you better learn to shit. Fuck you, talking about. <laughs> anyway, man. Um, we hope everybody had a good week, man. We hope everybody had a chance to check out our latest episode. Yes, sir. Episode yes, sir. Shout out to Rallo. One seventeen. Shout out to Rallo. Get a quick clap. Um. You know, we had some technical difficulties, man, so that shit got out late. It came out this morning, so check that out, man. We don't have to worry about that shit again. We worked that out. Out! Um, Topics for the night, man. We're doing weekend recap, of course. Mm-hmm. We're doing NFL playoffs, some NBA stuff, and we got some local news shit for you. But um, let's just start it off, man. How was your weekend? Uh, <laughs> pure shit. I had drill, bro. It was just busy. You know, I'm going in when it's dark, leaving when it's dark. I'm eating at my desk. Still working, just running like a machine, man. So I really didn't do anything. I I I started watching the USC fights and fell asleep before the cold main event came on. But it was still good, uh, a good fight, especially the female fight. It's awesome. And then um, I rarely caught football this weekend, so I caught a little bit of highlights. But by the time I got home, man, I was crashing. So uh, that's about it. How about you, sir? God damn, bro. Sixty seconds, huh? Yeah, <laughs> gone to sixty seconds. Pew. Man, um, well, you know, as usual, man, basketball practice, uh, bowling. So, look, I just want to start this off. <laughs> I want I want to send out a man. formal apology uh, oh. to my son's coaches. Mm. Want to send out a formal apology? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if maybe they Do got. Tell. I don't know if maybe they got telekinesis. Maybe they Professor X out here, but. Uh, I came into practice, dog, and everything I was thinking about getting ready to say, they both sat down with me. We was like, look, this is what we about to do. X, Y, and Z, do, 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 do. So I'm like, excuse me? Oh, you-, you about to change up the lineup. You about to practice fundamentals. What? Are you kidding me? And then they was like, hey, look, Friday, man, we we, we, we want the parents to just suit up and, you know what I'm saying, get in with, get in with <laughs> the kids. Was, how was that? So I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, I, I took it easy. You know what I'm saying? I listen, I was on some Draymond. So I'm 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 running down with it, but I'm just passing. I wasn't doing shit. Um, but it was good. It was good, man, because you know, I got to work with the bigs. So I'm down low with one of the young boys, and I'm like, look, man, I was like, y'all down low, man. I was like, you know, y'all ain't getting the ball like that. So what you gonna do to get the ball? So I'm standing there, I was like, how 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 he gonna know you open? How you gonna know? I was like, put your hand up, yell, yell, call for the ball. You know what I'm saying? Say so start getting the ball. I was like, you go up soft, I'm swatting it. Man, I was sending that shit to the fucking bleachers half the game. Because I'm like, y'all got to go up stronger than this. You know what I'm saying? My son, you know, I don't really have to say that. He didn't know. He already know what type of time I'm on. So I had to say that I'm just working with the other kids who just need that extra attention. And I was like, I need a bucket. He said, I was like, no, I need you. I need you to score. I need you to score. I need a bucket. You know what I mean? Getting the ball, pushing him in his back. You know what I'm saying? He turned around. 
boot bucket. I'm like, bro, that's how y'all supposed to play, bro. I was like, y'all can't be playing so if I job was taking the practice. Over okay, the coach time. book. I was like, I was like, y'all can't be playing soft out here, man. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, y'all playing soft. This motherfucker went coach so bad, bro. I do, you bro. Coach so bad. I just look. Just go ahead. Only just way I'm o- only way I'm coaching is we'll be assistant coach. Fine. You are you already doing I, it. I've been an assistant coach, bro. But I you're need, doing it already. You just did it. I need my own shit though. Yeah. But I I just need the, I need the parents to no, be online. Don't. Like, listen, no, I need active no, parents. No, you don't. You know what an active parent is. Motherfucker, I've been coaching for eight years. For, for, listen, do y'all know what active parents is? Let me tell you what active parent. Let me look. I'm gonna look at the zoom in the close up. Active parents. This this mean, shit, this buddy. means that you're dropping your kids. You're not dropping your kids off. You're coming in there with them. You know what I'm saying? You're sitting in there for the entire practice. You're not looking at your phone. You're watching the kids. And when your child's fucking up, you're getting in his ass. Or if he's not putting forth effort and you know he do, you're getting in his ass. This is when we have games and, and it's your week to do snacks. Everybody already signed up for snacks. When you got to do scoreboard, everybody's already signed up for scoreboard. Not asking somebody in the crowd the day of the game. Hey, could anybody do scoreboard? No, bro. Like, the kids feed off of all of that shit. So if I know that I'm not going to I'm not going to my son practice, I'm just dropping his ass off, sitting in the car, taking a fucking nap, and then I come in when it's over, and then I get in the game and I'm looking down on my phone, I'm not paying attention. They see that. You know what I'm saying? So like if you want your kids to win, because they owe in three. So if you want them to win, everybody's gonna have to pitch in. So Friday practice was good, and they did lose. They lost Sunday. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't as bad as the other two. So, shit, it's, it's progress as far as I'm concerned. Now the issue is is they just was too hype. Like, they was, you know, they wasn't pressing because the refs was calling a lot of fouls and shit. So now they're not pressing. But they get down, they get the ball like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They just throwing it up. I'm like, bro, slow down. Slow down, bro. So, you know, the coaches wasn't mad or nothing like that. But we like, man, look, y'all just got to relax, man, because this team only had like seven or eight players. So here we are with like 13 players. I was like, we should be blowing the fucking socks off these boys, man. But like, we they lost. You know what I'm saying? So lesson learned. But um, a positive on a positive note after that, man, the coach had reached out to me. He sent me a like a long text. It was like, look, me and you know, Coach Blase blah, man. We, you know, we trying to we trying to do something here, man, for the next couple of years. And I know you, I know you said that your son play other sports, but like, you know, we got a spring slash summer league right after, and I think it would be good for him. You know what I'm saying? To stay on, you know what I mean? Because we, you know, we see something in him. So I was like, that's cool. I was like, this is for every kid. He was like, no, nah, it's not. He's like, we like, we're not telling every kid. We telling the kids that we want. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I, I, you know, I showed it to him. You know, I think shit. I think he's about to tear up. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, he he like that's his love language. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Congratulatory, feeling. You know, the 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 need to be wanted type of deal. He he loved that shit. So, um, besides that, man went bowling. Shit, he he rolled over one seventy eight. So I'm like, sheesh. I think, look, I think I might have hit a 200 one time in my life. He done bowled a 178 at 12. Nigga, I was fried. I don't even I, know how I did that shit. I get it in with bowling, bro. So then Saturday night, um, we went to Black Cow and Bowie. How's that? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So I'm going to give an honest review. <laughs> Please I'm, do. I'm going to try to be as Please pro- do. professional as possible. All right. So went to the Black Cow joint. I just want to say for the record, the location is terrible. You can't beat Texas Roadhouse. People on the island, they love their fucking Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> so now you 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 fighting you fighting for parking. You know what I'm saying? So now you got this joint next to like a barbershop and like a wing spot in East Moon. So I'm like, this is really not where you put this this restaurant because they, they consider this upscale. They consider this to be an upscale restaurant. So yeah, I've seen that. you come in. You got the little fire heaters on the side, and then you got my man that come with the suit and opens the door for you. You got a little red carpet and everything. I said, okay, they got red carpet. But then I come in, <laughs> and this joint is this joint is set up like like a Chipotle or something. Like it was small, it was really small. So so then so we get in the joint, and they like, oh yeah, it's an hour wait. So I'm like, what am I waiting for? You know what I'm saying? So we like, we gonna sit at the bar, so sit at the bar. We sitting on the end. Um, the guy come through, you know, he get us some water, you know, we order some drinks. I had me a cranberry tonic, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Non-alcoholic. At least, at least I can, at least I can blend in a little bit. <laughs> Why you emphasize on a tonic so fucking? Man, yeah, man, look, that, that cranberry tonic, tonic be, be like that. Shout out to Rob, he put me on with that. 
I, you know uh, what? I am not fucking surprised. Mr. Young. Yeah, he Jesus. did. So he put me on with that joint. So we get the menu. I'm looking at the menu. The menu looks so weird, bro. So they got like, you know, you look at the menu, right? And you got your food and you got your sides and you got like shit that comes with it. So I'm just like, I'm going to get a burger, right? So I'm looking at the I'm looking at the writing, right? So it says burger in like big letters in its cap. So it's like burger. <laughs> so I'm like, all right. Look, I'm like, all right, a little aggressive. You know what I'm saying? And so then I and, and then I get I get down to like the the toppings and shit. And it's like, you know, add bacon, extra thick bacon and I'm like, y'all doing too much. You know what I'm saying? And but there's all this a other difference shit, between regular bacon and thick cut bacon. It tastes like the same shit I got in the fridge. Bullshit. So then after that, right? So I'm looking at the rest of the menu. Did you get the thick bacon? I did. How thick was the bacon? Your regular thick cut bacon you get at the store. Really? Oh, like some right, one thick, then. some right bacon, some rights bacon. You know what I'm saying? So one thick then. Then after that, um, I'm still looking at the menu and I see they got other shit, but I'm like they have other items, but they're in smaller font though. So they got like crab cakes, but it's so small, so it's like crab cakes. <laughs> I'm like, why is I'm like, you? I'm like, why is the burger but, font so big? And then like the crab cakes and the pork chops, all that shit is small. I'm like, is this a typo or something? Like, so the menu look crazy. It's very, very confusing. So I see. Very confusing. So I ordered the burger. I said I'm gonna play it safe. You ordered the burger because it was a big bowl of lettuce. I ordered the burger because it was just jumping out at me. It was just like, <laughs> you know you want the burger. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So I get Yo. the burger. I order the burger. I, I said, let me get a medium. You know what I'm saying? That bitch was like, that bitch was a little soggy. So I'm like, damn, bro. Like, this ain't medium, dog. But I, I didn't already ate half of it. I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to make a big deal. But like my fries are covered in burger juice. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, am I about to eat these juice? Burger juice. juice. I was like... <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat them. I, I just I just dipped them joints a little hard in the ketchup. I was like, I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and eat the soggy fries, man. So, wife got a drink, and she had something with some ginger in it. Uh, she she said it was okay. I can tell she didn't like because she usually would have threw that bitch back a little quicker than that. <laughs> so we're like sitting like right by the corner of the bar. So you got where the the kitchen is coming in. The oh, door, so you seen all the kitchen traffic? The door stuck and shit. So you just see niggas walking back. I'm like, damn, fix the what door, the bro. Like? What the kitchen look like? It looked like a kitchen, bro. That shit wasn't clean. You know, it wasn't dirty. It's just the floor. You know, the floor real sticky and shit like that. Motherfucking McDonald's. They got a Mc, <laughs> they got a McDonald's floor. <laughs> so after that, Boom, man, all in y'all shit. I'm Boy, watching. Damn, that, I'm, I'm watching everything. You know, I'm already. I'm already. Yeah, they got their restaurant. Look, I'm, a, I'm already level one point five. So I'm yeah, watching man. everything. So then. I just see all these drinks start coming back. People sending drinks by those. They say they don't want this. They ain't like it. I'm like, God damn, y'all fucking the drinks up. And it wasn't even packed, dog. And they was like backed up on drinks. So yeah, you, if people, you keep sending them motherfuckers back, you damn right. Yeah, back yeah. Up. So and then so that, then they got so this was the nail in the coffin for me. So they got the two TV screens, right? I'm at the bar. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, they got the two TV screens. Maybe we can catch them football. No, they're not showing football. They're showing pictures of people eating and pictures of food in the restaurant <laughs> on like on, on a loop that pissed you off didn't it so i'm like <laughs> just that, the whole time i'm looking that, up i'm that like pissed you off didn't it i know it did boy. i, I just yeah, wanted yeah. it's like i wanted to ask but i felt like it was just a, a stupid question for me to have to ask like why do i want to see this you know what i'm saying you know so you see overall i'm just gonna say that I'm going to respectfully not go back there ever again. <laughs> One out of ten. Out of ten? Uh, I'm going to give it like a three, bro. Oof. I'm going to give it like a three, dog. Yeah. I mean, it was just it was just so much. I, maybe we just was sitting in the wrong place, but like people was having like whole conversations like right next to us, the waiters. Like we sitting here, I'm like, it's like, yeah, and then uh, they, they like, my they, baby they, father, they, they like, they say, They're like, they say they don't want the food. And I'm like, well, I don't know what the fuck they talking about. I'm like, I'm right here, dog. Like, I can hear you. Like, it shit was terrible, bro. So I'm, I'm going to give it a three, bro. I'm, I'm going to give it a, hey, yo, I'm, I'm going to give it a three. They yeah. were talking about your food? No, 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 no. Oh, they just, I, I mean, people was, people were sending food back. Oh, and they was just like, fuck it. They, they were getting irritated. Like, the one, she was like, she's like, can you get somebody else to serve the table? I, I just, I can't do it. And she went in the back, almost bust her ass on that wet ass floor. <laughs> 
So I'm gonna give Damn. it a three, man. But um, outside of that, man, that was uh, that was it for my weekend recap, man. Okay, yo, went to Harris Teeter, you know, made a little TikTok. That's, that's my jump. That shit was. I told her why because she was in here like, oh Harris my god, Teeter, that's my she, she was like, everything in here so fresh, so we stacked oh up. My so, but look, no, but look, I hate y'all. But no, 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 no. This no, is my question. No, but this no. is my question for her. This is my question. I was like, no. I was like, so why don't you shop here? Harris Teeter is my shit. And I they, drive all the way to that Harris Teeter. Every time to go grocery shopping. But I kept asking her. I was like, so why don't you shop? I was like, is it that much more expensive or something? She's like, well, no. I was like, so why don't you shop here? Like, what the fuck? Harris like, Teeter is the shit. So she couldn't answer the question. So I was like, all right. I mean, I'm just trying to figure out why you don't shop here. You know what I mean? If, if the shit's and so it's stacked closer up. closer to you. It's very close. Like, she will go I to- drive 20 minutes to come to this damn Harris Teeter. And that shit is everything. It's always that it. Harris Teeter used to be twenty four hours. You know how clutch that used to be. It was. It was yes. that, that pre pandemic. Yes, pre pandemic. That joint was twenty four hours. Bro, we was in there at nine o'clock. I felt like we was the only people in the store. Man, no. no. So I, I it, it felt twenty four hours to and me. That, and that and that damn. Um, that's where I get um my liquor from. That Crest's wine. The next joint to right it. next to it. Yeah, yeah. They always got a little taste. They got and a big. And that they got Starbucks in there is good. They got a big selection in that Crescent joint too. Yeah, like that back Crescent when I used like to. That. Shout out to Crescent Wines. Their bourbon is excellent. Yeah, Crescent the, is. The like liquor that. store has their own bourbon. It's the, it's What's it called? Sh- it's called Crescent Wine Bourbon. Oh, wow. Six, it's aged six years. That shit is good as hell. Well, too in, bad in, you don't drink. I don't worry. In my I, next I, life, I, I uh, I'll, for you. I'll test it out in my next life. All right. <laughs> all right, let's go. Bing bong. NFL, man. Ugh, my fucking bracket is crushed. Mine is halfway there. I really had to bid. The Bills was going to be like, that was going to be like the best story in like NFL history if they would have won the whole shit. And they got fucking burnt by the Bengals in the snow, bro. I just I just saw a couple of highlights, man. They fucking lost 27 to 10. And uh, shout out to Delhi, man. Who day? Yeah, I know he. I know he. Am. Gotta pay. I already know. I already know he. I'm, I'm, I'm he, gonna make a special he, clip he, for him. He gonna be like, "Hey, I need my spot back." I know he gonna. Be yeah. So Josh Allen, he was getting fucked up, bro. Mm. He was getting hit hard. You know, he a big quarterback, man, but he was getting yeah, hit hard. I, I was saying the highlights myself. He was overthrowing a lot of quarterbacks. I mean, you know, they playing in the snow, so I'm not expecting him to throw perfectly, but uh, he's supposed to be the man. They, they call him a specimen. I, I kind of got a problem. I'm like, why do I be calling this nigga these names? He's he's a person. The fuck? But um, uh, Stephon like Diggs was pissed. Oh, yeah, he, um, he fucking upset. left. He tried to leave the stadium. Niggas had to come back and grab him. But, I mean, I get it, man. He an emotional player, and it's yeah. like, bro, we've been here like three years in a row. Yeah. And we keep losing. Yep. You know what I mean? Shit. When, when, when is enough? Yep. Shit. Chiefs beat the fucking Jaguars 27 to 20. I they, thought Mahomes was done once he they was talking about his ankle and shit. I he, was like, oh, he done. This and they was like, he's back on the field. I said, so if oh, I'm not shit. mistaken, he came back out second half. I don't know if he played the entire second half or not. But sure, uh, the, I know. The little parts that I watched, he was playing, he was playing all of it. Okay. So it dep- depending on that ankle. Is really gonna determine if if they're gonna beat the Bengals. I personally, you know, if man, they you would think nothing was wrong with his ankle, man. He they was still scoring, but that. he but he still was hobbling around. He but was, he he's he was. played like this before yeah, though. He has, you know he what I mean. Has, so, um, and then you know you got Dallas. They fucking lost. Um, man, shout out to you, Dallas fans. I mean, look, it is what it is. And I that mean, injury with old boy. Oh, I didn't see it, God. man. But they say he was, I, he was fucked I up pretty bad. I seen a highlight. And I seen it in slow motion when he got tackled. So the dude pretty much has the he's grabbing the back of his leg, and he kind it, it kind of looks like he just grabs it and just like cinches on that motherfucker. And you see, uh, what you call it? You see him Tony screaming Pollard. before he even hits the fucking ground. Yeah. So some season ending shit, pretty yes. much. And then yes. you got then you had then you just had to rely on Zeke. No, what was that play they was trying to do oh, at the end, bro? I'm like, damn, bro. Like, he ain't tried. To, you didn't see it. Mm-mm. They try to do some fucking Madden, Madden 07 shit. You had all you had was Zeke. Was Zeke was supposed to hike? He was supposed to hike the ball, and it was just him and it was Dak, and everyone else was on the sides. And he hiked the ball, and fucking Zeke got fucking plowed over by one person. Just pushed his ass over, and Dak threw the ball to whoever, and he got fucking popped. The game was over. I was like, bro, just, I was like, just do, just do a streak, bro. You could have did an old school streaks, bro. Dumb. So they lost, and then you know you got Philly beat the fucking shit out of fucking the Giants, thirty eight to seven. That I'm like, 
Why was y'all even there, man? You, you, you know, the, the commanders could have probably did better than that. I don't know. You probably know what I mean? because we beat them. Yeah, you did beat them. So, beat the so players. now we got, we just got, uh, uh, you got 49ers versus Eagles. Who you going with? Eagles. I'm going with the 49ers. Okay. And then you got Bengals versus Chiefs. Bengals. I'm going with the Bengals. Bengals been, Delhi. Bengals been with Delhi. Don't let me down. I'm rooting for you. So we will keep you guys posted on our thoughts. Who you got going to the bowl? 49ers and Bengals. And I got I, I got, got Bengals and Philly. And I got 49ers winning the whole shit. I got Philly winning it. Now. Okay. We'll see. It was the Bills, but I was really fucking yeah, I still was, fuck with the Bills, yeah, man. I, but yeah, they yeah, they, did, they still missing some pieces, man. But they get it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. NBA. Uh, before I get to the to the topic, which is Shannon Shaw, I just want to say honorable mention: Rui Hachimura, Hach, shit, Rui, fuck, Rui H. <laughs> God damn, hey Rui, I'm sorry, bro, but your name a little complicated. They call him Big 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 Japan. Not calling that. I'm not calling that either. He got traded to the fucking Lakers today. Yeah, for seen some, that on the way over for, for some measly second round picks, and we got Kendrick Nunn who does none nothing on the fucking court. <laughs> I'm like, man, I'm like, I'm like, what y'all be thinking about, bro? Don't get me wrong. They wasn't going to keep Rui anyway. Rui, they had high they had high hopes for him, and he just, between injury, some mental health shit going on, he ain't really been producing like they wanted to. He was even coming off the bench, but he was dropping like 30 off the bench, but he's not consistently giving you them numbers. And honestly, they just don't know how to work. They don't know how to work with these people that they got. You know what I'm saying? Like, the starting five is stagnant. You know what I'm saying? You don't know who the fuck is, is going to go off. Everybody want the ball. Kuz wanted to be his team so fucking bad. But you got Bill and then you got Porzingis. So it's like, okay, well, how are you going to do that? But best of luck to you. That's like the fourth person from the fucking Wizards that's gone to the Lakers. Yep. So best of luck to you. But Uncle Shea, listen, I know Uncle Shea is with the shits, but I got I got to call it how it is, man. Call it. Um, you know, for those who don't know what the fuck is going on, I mean, you should. Uh, Shannon Sharp was he was sitting courtside at the Lakers versus the Memphis Grizzlies game. Uh, you know, this was the same game where LeBron and a couple of Memphis players was going back and forth, and it was like LeBron was pretty much like, "Y'all trying to fucking play me out here." So you know, you know, Shea is pretty much LeBron's fucking father, and he ain't going for none of that. So then you got him sitting courtside. And then and then they lose the game. Lakers win the win the game. And he get up. He get the yapping at, at Dylan Brooks. You know what I'm saying? Dylan Brooks get the going. You know what I'm saying? And at this point, like, Shannon Sharp is on the court. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And even if the game was over, like, what you doing, bro? You can't do that. Then you got big, big, big Adams coming over, like, and he usually he's usually on some just like break it up. But he like, man, let's get it. Yeah, I he, was just, definitely, he was definitely picking motherfuckers up and moving them out the way. You, you see the poor guy who was trying to hold Steven yeah, Adams yeah, back. Yeah, he be yeah, like, come yeah. on, man, he's pushing his little ass out the way. I said that boy need a raise, man. <laughs> but um, then you know, then he gets into it with with T T Morant. You know what I'm saying? John Morant's father. I'm trying to figure out how old this nigga is. He looked like us in there. You know what I'm saying? And um. Then after that, they ended up dapping it up. You know what I mean? So, of course, they was pushing the fight thing. But then, you know, they showed them dapping it up at the end. Again, why is Shannon Sharp still in the stadium? You know what I'm saying? And he went on Undisputed this morning. And he apologized. And he took full responsibility. I get all that. But, bro, like, we done seen people removed for from for way less. Mm -hmm. We didn't we didn't see people removed like we can just get like a Russell Westbrook uh uh situation where he getting he heckling, heckling with uh people in the stands and they getting removed. So I'm like, come on, bro. Like because now you know I'm getting in the comments. If that was me, I would have been out and I would have been hog tied. Mm. This is white people saying this, yeah. and they have every right to say it. You know what I'm saying? So all I'm saying is, if this wasn't Shannon Sharp, this person probably would have been fucking banned. I, I agree. You know what I'm saying? So. That was just that's just my thoughts on that. It's like I get where you're coming from, bro. I get you passionate. You know what I mean? It's it, it ain't nothing that any one of us wouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? That shit could happen to me at my son game. I'll be mm -hmm. going back and forth with, with one of the coaches or shit, one of them little ass boys too. We can go back and forth. But I would expect for them to be like, Yeah, you can't come to those games no more. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just just a level of, of professionalism. You know what I'm saying? What's your thoughts on it? No, nah, I mean, I agree with you cold heartedly. Like I agree with you 110 percent Um but it, it just goes to show purple people of certain statuses, they get passes that normal people don't. Like, and, and it's bullshit, but, you know, um, 
me, I kind of look at it as as much shit as as you're giving it as you gave Skip about what he did and what he said, you're not living up to what you're preaching by your actions. So, <laughs> so ding ding. So that's that's the confusing part to me. But he did what most people do. He took full responsibility and he apologized. But then they also showed them resolving the issue, right? And and that they were good and everybody left on cool terms afterwards and everybody everything's copacetic. So that's that's a positive as well. But we wouldn't have even got there if you wouldn't have just sat down and shut the fuck up. You're not playing. I'm, I'm not saying I'm not saying don't talk shit. Yeah, yeah, I mean it's a sport, but, but you, stay yeah. your ass on the side, yeah, bro. That's what I'm like, sit down. Like be quiet. Like I get it. You're passionate, but you ain't you ain't he got up. You'll think that motherfucker was the coach the way he got up. He was fresh too though. Yeah he was. I mean but oh, that's, oh, oh, that's Shane. I, I don't want no I don't want no smoke but I'm just I'm just keeping it one hundred. Look know? Practice what you preach. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're right. You're that. right. You're right. So we'll that. we'll follow that man. I mean, again, he made a long. It was a long yeah, apology. It, long it should be about apology. two, three minutes long. So, like I said, I can respect anybody. You know what I'm saying? Who who can admit? Okay, you know I fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But still, bro, like you can't you can't do that, man. And that that was what Dylan Brooks said. He was just like he was like, yeah. If, if that was a, a if that was just a regular fan, his ass would have been gone. He was mm-hmm. like, but that's he's like, this is L.A. So you know what I mean? Um, so it is what it is. All right, enough with that. Let's get to the local shit. Local news. Uh, what's it, Mayor Merle? Merle Bowser. <laughs> oh my God. Merle out here, like she's like, look, uh, Uncle Biden, I need you to get these Not motherfuckers Uncle back Biden. in the buildings, or we're gonna start putting people in there. Hey, look, I look, I'm downtown. You know what I'm saying? So like, I see it. And a lot of these buildings is empty, dog. Like, a lot of these buildings are empty, and it's not sustainable to just have these buildings empty. Like, we're talking about commercial-sized buildings. Do you know how long it takes? For, if, a, if nobody is in this building, this building is three blocks long, and nobody's in this building, or you say 10% of the, uh, let's, let's just say it's 2,000 people in there, and you only got 10 to 20% of the people in the building. Do you know how long it takes when, 500 people come in their office and say, oh, it's cold in my office. Do you know how long it's going to take for that shit to heat the fuck up, mm-hmm. dog? I know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I work in facility management, so I'm looking at, you know, utility bills, $50,000 a month for a gas bill, and nobody's in the building. Like, what the fuck are we paying for? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So what we're doing in our building is we're leasing out them spaces. Oh, you don't want to come in? Well, we're going to go ahead and rent this out to somebody else. We're not going to have no empty building. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, we we probably got four or five hundred people on a busy day out of two thousand in the building. We got a cafeteria they want open, but like for what? Who's gonna eat out of there? You know what I mean? So I personally listen. I mean, I I, I commented on this. Uh, it was it was on uh, DMV Daily, and I seen this, and I commented because somebody was like, "Well, you need to worry about you know it's it's bad for my mental health to go back in the office and all this." So I commented. I was like, "Ma'am, uh, speaking for me, it was like." I don't think it's good for you to be in the fucking house every day. I was like, I don't know what your profession. I guess it it's, it's depends on the profession, but I personally don't think that it's good for your mental to be in the fucking house sitting in front of a computer all day. Now, if you the type, you got a type of job where you can the laptop can be wherever you could be with all over the fucking country. Okay, then so be it. But for the people who can't do that, like it's good for you to get your ass up in the morning, make your lunch. Hop in the whip and drive the fuck to work, walk around, be amongst people, socialize, and then come on back home. I just, I think me personally is good for you. So my schedule is I go on site half of the pay period and then I telework half of the pay period. So one week I'm, I'm on site three days, another I'm on two. To me, that's a perfect balance because just when I feel like I've been, I'm, at, I'm on site too much and I'm tired, boom, I'm teleworking for the next two days. Mm-hmm. Vice versa. Damn, I've been home too long. Good, I'm going in tomorrow. They're getting on my nerves. You know what I'm saying? So I think that some type of hybrid schedule should be set up just across the board. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. What you think? Um. So I this is my take on it. So... um. A lot of people, mental stability or just mental health, period, has degraded drastically during the pandemic, right? So they've established 
um, triggers that they that they normally wouldn't have. So a lot of people that were outgoing people are not so outgoing anymore. So uh, and then to caveat, a lot of companies realize that they don't have to have these buildings and pay this money to get their they get their jobs done. Mm-hmm. So the companies are saving money. And it's a win-win because the the employees are at home. Um, so which then begs a difference. So now the city is like, no, you gotta you gotta do something with these buildings, right? She's talking about moving people in. Fuck it, move people in there. That to get them off the streets, right? Use one of them fucking buildings and and make a goddamn program for these fucking kids and get their asses off the goddamn street. If you're so worried about them being empty so fucking much. Like, utilize that space, right? I'm pretty sure the money is getting enough, the city is getting enough money to set up some free programs for these schools, right? You know, they, they've been having, you know, like all these these conferences and these these town halls about the crime and, you know, the youth and all this other stuff. All right, well, stop fucking talking and just put some, and put some action behind your words. You know what I mean? Me, personally, uh, I'm, um, I'm, I'm with... Whatever that person feels that like they need to, they need to do to get their job done. Some people really don't have the, you know, they they just can't deal with the crowd or deal with people anymore, and 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 you see it a lot more often than now. Um, and it's starting to become the norm that people are that were extroverts are now turning into introverts. I agree, bro. So, um, that that is 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 fucked up. But I mean, I just. Just pick what you choose. As long as you're not abusing it, as long as you're being true about your reasons, you know, like, no, like, I really can't be around crowds of people. Like, I had a soldier, we were in formation, and he just kept walking back and forth in and out of the room, and I'm like, you okay? Like, what's going on? He was like, first on, he was like, I he was like, I really haven't been around a big crowd of people in a long time. He was like, it's really bothering me. I was getting hot. And I'm like, look, just just chill out and relax. That is a, that thing is more common than, than what it is. So, um, if you have the ability to telework and work, you know, from home all the time, and you can you can manage it, by all means, do so. But just like you said, get out, do something. Don't be in the house. Like take the time to get some fresh air and stuff like that. If you got a hybrid schedule, by all means, let let that work to your abilities, man. Just make sure that you know you're doing what you're supposed to do, and you know, and you're and, and you're good and you're comfortable with it. Some people, it's some people right now. They're they already had anxiety prior to the pandemic and they're even worse now than what the fuck it is before. They don't want to do shit. You so <clears throat> that's just my take. I ain't mean to preach, but no, 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 you no. I mean, I, I hear what you're saying. And I mean, I'm also looking at it from, it's like, all right, now be careful what y'all asking for, you know, be careful what you asking that for. Too. You asking for, okay, go ahead and put the people in there. Yep. Okay. You realize that that's permanent. Yep. You can't just temporarily and pull people off the street they keep and put dropping, them in these buildings. They keep dropping off people at fucking Carmela House. They're going to put their asses in the fucking buildings. Exactly. So just be careful because it may be a situation where, all right, well, we need to we need to scale back on, on the telework. Well, where the fuck y'all going to go work at? Yep. Now you got to find another space. Or, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not sure how it works, but they may have to start laying motherfuckers off. Like, we don't have nowhere for you to work. We in this space. We don't need that many people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can have that happen, too. So, uh, I'm curious to, to, to what they're gonna do. Like I said, in in my building, they're already leasing out the spaces. Yeah, I believe it. They're already leasing out. Like they got because whoever owns that building, they gotta make, they gotta get that money from somewhere. Yeah, they're not. They don't have any tenants. So what happens when what happens when they lease out a space? Whenever they say, "Look, we gotta consolidate and all that," that means that this nice little cubicle I got. You know what I'm saying? I might have to be reserving that shit. Yeah. Every week, which yep. means pictures of my family. And all my little pins and shits in my drawer, like I might be getting a locker where I have all that shit and I could just take it in and out as I come in. You know what I'm saying? That's what they mean by renting out a space. But I'm like, shit, man, I ain't had a cubicle that long. Let me get a year at least. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Uh, I like swirling around the chair and shit. Can't nobody see me. You know what I'm saying? But um, this motherfucker don't be doing no work. Nah, nah, I don't. I don't. (laughs) Nah, well, I I got a new chief, man. So, um, But that's all. But that's all we got, man. I, I look. So well, I'm gonna tell you now. I know. I know you. You. You know. Your breaking news thing is a little extended. But if you you want to find something a little shorter, then then send it to me. I'll put it on this bitch. But until then.
What fucking shuffle is that? I created it, that. It is so annoying. Hit me. How do you catch a unique deer? Unique up on it. <laughs> Unique up on it. <laughs> All right. You got me with that one. You, you leave that there. Leave that there. Ooh, that's, shit. Leave that, that one there. That that's good that's one. good. That's I just good. got lightheaded. That was a good one. All right, man. We look. We keeping it short tonight, yes, man. Sir. Um, we're gonna dress this shit up and it'll be out on Thursday, man. Y'all have a good night. Captain out.